Um, there may finally be some relief now from bad odors along the coast in the South Bay. Scientists are now monitoring those noxious gases, and that could be the key to more funding to resolve the issue. CBS 8's Steve Fiorina sat in on a citizens forum in Coronado tonight, one of the areas most impacted. The first sensor went online a month ago in San Isidro. Already confirmation that odors are spiking and likely to get worse as winter approaches. Raw sewage flowing north through the Tijuana River Valley has been a curse on the South Bay for years. A massive problem that's seen little improvement. Now a scientific approach from the Air Pollution Control District of San Diego County. Sensors to measure levels of hydrogen sulfide or sewer gas. A public hearing at the Coronado Library to explain how cold hard facts about health issues could help. Unfortunately, just local voices hasn't been enough, and so we're hoping that bringing some of that data will help push it forward. The sensors provide proof that the air is foul. Complaints about the smell validated. What happens is that during our 21 or 30 days of rain that we get a year, that basically that water races to the ocean. So to spread the water over the valley, especially sewage tainted water, is a disaster and that's what we smell at night. His solution is to deepen the valley. Restore the valley back to the way it was and so that the water, uh, there's no standing water. One woman asked if high tide versus low tide could have an impact as well. The estuary, once there's no water in it, it's just solids. It's solids that have dropped down and I think that could be a very high correlation. One theme seemed to run through the crowd. They want action now. Is there any plan or any program that is compatible with this technology where you can run scenarios of calculated flows from the past with meteorological data to coincide and run a scenario to tell what we were exposed to yesterday? Because we're finding out today that we're sick and we might die tomorrow. A total of six sensors are to be installed in the next several months, and more may follow. It would be ammunition in the battle to get federal and state money to fix the problem. Steve Fiorina, CBS 8. Thanks, Steve.